welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra. Thank you so much for being here. Today, well, do I have a video? Today I'm basically going to do a what's new in my wardrobe. I know it's been a minute since I've uh, stood here in front of the camera. Honestly, finals week, my new job, like everything just like kind of piled on top of me and I didn't manage my time well, to be honest. So that's why there has not been a video in a hot minute. I have been doing some shopping in this little hiatus, so there is quite a few things to share with you. I have some things from the new Anthropology A Plus line. I have some Zara, a bit of ASOS, a couple things from Shein. I'm gonna hop right into it and show you what I got. So one of the first things I got is from the A Plus line with Anthropology is this giant oversized white tunic. I know right now it kind of looks like not much, not super cute, but I think it's gonna be so cute in the summer, like these buttons. You have these really cute kind of tortoiseshell detail buttons that run down the front and they do button all the way down. These sleeves do go full length and they are full length and you can button them, but I like how they look rolled up. And then also, I don't think I ever really would wear it just like this. I really like this top tucked in and like very obviously like oversized and big and you can just like wear it super slouchy and cute. Um, I have worn it to work one time and I got tons of compliments and if you can tell it is really long in the back as well. My only thing with it is it is white. If you're anything like me, white shirts can be a struggle because you get things on them and also just with my skin tone foundation, I think I already have some foundation on the collar here. Such is life, it's fine. But yeah, this is one of the first things I got from the Anthro A Plus line. It was a little bit on the pricey side. I'll have it linked down below if I can still find it. I should be able to, it just came out. But yeah, this is the first top that I got. All right, so this next top is also from Anthropology. This isn't from A Plus. This is just a standard top that happened to go up to a 16W, which for them, I believe stands for women's. It's okay. I do have some like a little bit of gapping here, but honestly, if I was wearing a different bra that might be negated, you know, with a less bulky bra. And it has these beautiful like metal detailed buttons that run down the center. There is one more, I just have it tucked in. So as you can see, it's not the best fitting Item. It was actually on sale, so that's why I picked it up because I really liked it and yeah This top was actually on sale and that's why I got it because it was not too bad of a price and generally Anthropology things are super super expensive So to get something really cute on sale with them is always a win I wouldn't generally pair this top with this skirt I'm gonna scoot the camera back so you guys can see the skirt is also also from Anthropology and you need something a little thinner a little bit more seamless to tuck into it because you can see everything so if you can see the skirt it's red with white polka dots going down honestly I was very surprised this fit just because I don't always uh, fit into or look good in these kind of skirts I have some room in it to be like it's not the tightest thing that I've ever worn and this is a size extra large I wouldn't necessarily pair these two items together because you can kind of see uh, the shirts buttons and like you know lines of it underneath for the skirt is just really cute I didn't think it was a style that I would ever be able to wear because I didn't find it flattering on myself these kind of slip skirts but honestly as I like look at myself and like turn and see it like I don't hate it like I think that it does a pretty good job of like hiding this belly line like I definitely have a belly line here and the way that this skirt falls just kind of hides it as if it doesn't exist but it does you know show my hips and like the curve of my body which is really nice and then it has this little ruffle hem at the bottom so sorry this is not <laughs> steamed it would look so much better if it was steamed but yeah this is a really cute skirt and it was also on sale but they do come out with this type of skirt often in different patterns right now they have it in a cheetah that is like a current pattern because you know cheetah and leopard and all that is very very in at the moment but yeah this is a cute little skirt that I got. Also you guys, I did want to mention, I know that Anthropology is a super expensive brand that not everyone can afford. Me, myself, I have not been able to purchase anything from them like up until this point. I've always been of the looking type when I go into Anthropology. I never went in with like, oh, I want this, I want this because I knew it was just so far out of my price range. But actually, I feel like their pricing has gone down in the last few years. All right, if you are signed up as an Anthro member with them, you do get a lot off. You can get 20% off like during their Anthro days and stuff like that. If you guys saw my last video, you know that I now <laughs> work for Anthropology, so that is a new thing for me. I don't no longer work at H&M, so I do get a discount there. But yeah, so you'll be seeing more Anthropology clothing, and I'd like this to be like kind of a helpful thing for you guys so that you can know what's worth it, know what to spend your money on, 
and then also just know if it's gonna fit you because I know for that price point it is really imperative that the items look great and fit great because you know we are spending so much money on it so yeah I hope that's a new thing that you guys are excited about if you don't want to see it a ton just let me know but yeah there will be some more anthropology things in the future so this next set is completely out of my comfort zone it's something totally different for me this is the last like few pieces that I got from anthropology it's actually a skirt and top set I will like bring the camera down so you can see the whole thing but it buttons down the front this top and then it has this little tie detail at the bottom it's like a collared really nice fitting shirt that goes down into a skirt you see here the skirt is like hits me right at the waist and then goes just below the knee. It's not a true midi. Um, I would say it's more of a T length, but it has these nice box pleats down the front and then this pattern, which is kind of out there and kind of wild, but I loved it. This outfit, if I'm honest, is not something that I would wear together. I don't think at first I really thought I would, but then once I got it uh, in the mail to try on together, I just didn't see it as something that I would wear together. But then I did this and unbuttoned it and saw what it looked like like this and I thought hey maybe I would wear it together if it was like this with like a different colored top underneath that can kind of break it up because it was just a lot of this pattern I also felt like it looked like possibly I was going to church or something I think it's a really cool set if you're looking for something completely different obviously there's not a ton of items on the market for us a full figured plus size ladies that are this different and this bold. They do these bold kind of cool things for standard sizes, but often not for plus size. So yeah, I decided to pick it up. Let me tell you the retail price and let you cringe. The skirt was 140 US. The top was 120 US, so it is quite a pricey item. This was quite a pricey set, but again, I do get a discount. And if you're an Anthem member, you can get a 20% discount on all full price things. So if you did play, if you were going to buy this, I would recommend like waiting for a sale or like a deal or something. Don't play full price on this, please. And I got the whole set in an 18W. Again, it's pretty, it's pretty true to size. I would say like in the skirt, maybe not, but the top, the top I could have definitely stood to go down a size. Um, I think the 18 is almost too large for me. I, I might be more comfortable and happy with a 16, but I'm not gonna return it just because ugh, I don't want to and I feel like the oversized look if I'm wearing just the top by itself can go well with like a pair of jeans or something. That is why I justified buying the complete set because if I had just bought the skirt, oh it's just one skirt I can wear with whatever, but now I can wear it together, you know, top and bottom like full thing. I can wear it at the top with like a different skirt, a different pair of jeans, like something, or I can wear the skirt by itself with a different top. So that's three outfit choices just from these two pieces. And that's how I justified it to myself. And it does have pockets. They're like good pockets. I don't know. I saw it, I fell in love with it, I bought it. Uh, let me know what you think. I know this one's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I think this is the last anthro item. Uh, next we're gonna jump into some ASOS. All right, so this next item I have is a dress from ASOS. It's kind of this green khaki moment. It has these front pockets and the buttons that go all the way down the middle, as well as this little drawstring belt that you can tie yourself on the front to cinch in your waist. It's a really cute dress and it comes just below the knee, which is where I like things to come. It clings a little bit here, which I don't love. Like I wish it kind of fell more discreetly over the kind of belly line area. But other than that, honestly, I can't complain. And I have worn it and I have loved it and felt comfortable in it. Yeah, like it has sleeves that cover most of my arms, which is always a good thing. And it's just like a really cool, easy dress to throw on, especially going into the spring and summer. I think this dress will come in handy. But yeah, a dress like this, I really like going into the spring and summer because I think that I can wear it in many different occasions and it's super easy to throw on. The only thing, and I'm gonna just preface this now, be careful when you're steaming this, when you're ironing this, whatever this fabric is, I'm not sh exactly sure. 95% polyester. Who's surprised here? Well, when I was trying to steam this, basically, I burnt a giant hole in it. If you can see right, see part of it there. I burnt a giant hole in this, basically, and I had to like pin it. Luckily, the top is a little bit big on me, so there was some extra fabric, so I was able to pull 
where I burnt it back under the collar and pin it so it's not noticeable. But yeah, I did that the first day that I had it when I was trying to steam it to get out some of these wrinkles. So just be careful if you do buy this one, <laughs> please. Also, I think I got this in a 20 and I could have stood, stood to go down a size. This next dress is also from ASOS and I love this one. I'm obsessed with polka dots at the moment and I love the way that this one falls. Let me adjust it so you can see the full thing. Well, I can't get the whole thing in the shop, but this at least shows you how far down it goes. It's more of a maxi length dress and it's pretty tight through the waist and then it drops. Uh, yeah, it's tight through here, very fitted and nice. And then at that perfect place where I start to get the tummy and the little hip bulge, it just drops so elegantly and I love it. This also has buttons down the front, but they're black and like they blend right in. And then it has a tiny little waist belt. The only thing about this dress is I feel like the waist belt, I would have loved it if it was white or maybe just a different thickness, like this tiny little thing kind of blends in. So when I wore it, I did take it off actually and wear it with a different colored belt that gave more definition here but other than that i really love this i love that you can kind of button or take off as many down here as you want to make it a little slinkier a little bit more leg slit so it's not so matronly um but i do love that the sleeves come down basically all of these little details make this dress just very comfortable to wear um i feel comfortable walking around in it i don't think that i'm not like self-conscious when i'm in it and yes maybe it's just because it covers everything that i would want to cover but it also does it in a way where I feel fashionable, I feel cute, and this is something that I would throw on if maybe I was having like a low self-esteem day and I wanted to be cute and I just, all of the things that are more my daring, like, oh yeah, you can wear that kind of thing, it's just weren't making me feel my best that day. I would throw something like this on because it's foolproof and I know no matter what that I am gonna think I look great and that it's a dress I get a lot of compliments in. So yeah, I would definitely pick this one up. I got this one in an 18 US as well. All right, so I've kind of moved on from ASOS, uh, but I have still have them on. These pants are from ASOS, I'll show you them in a minute. But since we're up here, I'm gonna show you this lovely top from Zara. It actually has a little mark on it already because I have been wearing this. All of this stuff I've already been wearing except for the two-piece set from Anthropology. Everything else <laughs> has like been through a cycle of wear already. And this top, I saw it in the store and fell in love with it, but they only went up to a size medium in store. They're like, yeah, we don't get the large, it was extra large, and I was so annoyed. But because this top is oversized, I went out on a limb. I never do this. I was like, you know what? I want to order it. So the guy um, went online, ordered me an XL to be delivered to the store. It has these awesome three-quarter sleeves. They don't have a button or anything. They kind of just open, which is nice if you have, like, bigger forearms. It does scoop in the front and has, like, little rectangle in the back but I would always wear something like this kind of tucked and then I pull it out a little to have this lovely baggy look these buttons also is what part of what made me fall in love with it you see there are these giant black buttons with the little silver detailing and I just think I just think it's the cutest thing ever this top I would wear with something like these black bottoms that I have on now so these black bottoms are from ASOS they have a box pleat down the front I think makes them look very flattering and these pockets obviously are just really cool and deep um, there's nothing much to say about them they're just like a black pant but they're the kind of pant that I love owning because I can just throw them on with anything and I think they look flattering and they kind of dress up an outfit like if I would wear this top with like jeans or something maybe it would be a little too cash but with these pants and like a good shoe I feel like I can go to work and feel manager-y so yeah, these are a really good find. These are also ASOS, also a size 20. I'm gonna show you these green ones that I got from ASOS, which weren't, I don't know what I was thinking when I ordered them, but hold on. Actually, no, I remember what I was thinking. These were on sale for $11, and I was like, I'm buying them no matter what. So I bought them, and now I'm like, should I dart them? Should I, you know, find a way to fix them? Basically, these pants are just too big. I got these pants in size 22 because that was the only size that was still available. But for $11, I was like, you know what? Let me, let me add them. And you'll see what I mean by too big right now when I tilt you down. So if you can kind of see with these green pants, they're obviously just too big on me. Um, they kind of hang interestingly and baggily because they're too big and then also they just, they're not super flattering because they're too big. Uh, and it's gotten worse because I've actually 
been on a little bit of a diet where I've like lost a few. And then the back is just not flattering to so pancake butt. There's just all this extraness. And then also this keeps happening if you can see. There's like, yeah. They're too big and I've wanted them because they're green and they're cool and they're eleven dollars, but they just don't fit. I'm not confident enough with my sewing skills to know how to fix this kind of bagginess, but if you know any tricks, let me know. This next dress I bought for a very specific purpose. I bought it because we were having our executives come into the store and I wanted a new outfit. Everyone was wearing a new outfit and I wore this with a layered turtleneck underneath and a little denim jacket and I really, really liked it, but now I feel like, ooh, what else am I gonna wear with this with? And it's just not my most comfortable item. This one is from Shein and as you can see, it's not the worst fitting, but you do, do have that kind of line of deep markation where my belly sits. That is negated with some good shapewear, but honestly, I don't always like to wear shapewear. This is just me all natural, but I love the color and these button details on the front. I think it's so, so cute. Um, it does gape a little bit up here, that's why I opted to wear it with a turtleneck underneath. Um, and it does have these nice thick straps here. So all in all, it's a really cute item. It's just not something that I would wear all the time because it's not the most comfortable and the most like flattering piece that I own, but it is really cute and it definitely fits. Um, this is a 3X from She. All right guys, that is all I have for today. So basically these are all the new things that I've added to my wardrobe since you last saw me. A styling video will probably come after this. You can see how I'm actually wearing these pieces and I'm gonna be doing a, um, like what I wore in the week to work like I used to do with all my H&M outfits because now at Anthro I have to dress a little bit more elevated than I did at H&M so you'll see how I'm coping with that and what I'm wearing. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you love the style of video. I know these are the ones I like to watch. Just a hodgepodge of all the different shopping and not just from one different place. So yeah, I will link everything that I possibly can down below. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.